and making adjustments. I know obviously we haven't got as much time as we yeah, yeah. have on a one to one. Would you ask them to verbalise or would you just say, just give me an acknowledgement when you <coughs> yeah, just make I, adjustments? I, I think um I think an acknowledgement uh, depend, depending on, on, on the um, depending on the client I guess right. where some clients would be openly happy mm -hmm. to tell you everything that they did in terms mm -hmm. of an adjustment well, I think I should have done this this way and I'm going to do this that way and some will just work it out in their own mind and say yeah I'm fine with that I depend on the client I, I, I'd, I'd probably go along the I'd probably go on the lines of <coughs> getting an acknowledgement because you sort of got them at a subconscious level then yeah. So, so get them to work it out in their own mind. And I guess they give you feedback afterwards. Yeah. They can say, well, I wasn't quite sure if I handled that meeting right, or should I do this that way, or should I call this person? But the one thing it does do, it gets you on that right path, and it sort of opens up opportunities you might not have thought about before. Because all of a sudden you're thinking about, okay, if I get to there, I've actually got to do this, that, and the other. And then I guess almost mysteriously then, you've got um, steps that you think you can take that you didn't realise you could have taken before. You know, and now we start getting ideas of people you can phone, maybe email and do it really. Yeah. So step two, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> it's a step just beyond the achievement of your outcome. So yeah. if you if you so if your outcome was like there, you would go past it, would you, and look look back at it. So you've got a view of the actual <coughs> outcome itself. Yeah. But also a view of how you, how you got to the outcome. So you start thinking of how you got to the outcome, so just oh, slightly yeah. beyond, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're living yeah. it, see, Janet. Yeah. You're living it, and you're getting a feel for what it's like is to that, have it. Is that the same as when you said, walk on the line, take a couple of steps before the achievement, but all the things you've done on your timeline, imagine steps you've taken to get there, then because you've made trading, you've taken, et cetera, et cetera. Is that what you, is that what you mean? I think Janet means the when you generate the plan, step two, Yeah. like just, you sort of step in just beyond the achievement, yeah, and, 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 and then you're building a vision of what's going on thereafter. So, so prior to building that vision of, of getting to where you had to get to, because if you think, okay, you've actually experienced the, you've experienced what it's like to have your goal. Mm -hmm. You're there. You're living it, which gives you an idea of how compelling it is uh, for you. So, really, if you set a goal that you want to achieve, you should be excited, I would think, of the prospect of doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're there, you're living it, and then you're sort of coming out of it. So you're observing it then, And, and, and mm -hmm. you, you've got a view of it mm -hmm. while still fresh in the memory. Mm -hmm. And you're not too far away from it. You're not, you're not too detached from it. You're just detached enough from it to get a view of how you've got there at that point there. And then you can start thinking, well, how would I have got to there from where I am? And you start thinking, how would I have got to there? Which step, which step would, would have taken me to that point of, of getting there? And then you sort of start formulating your steps along the way. How near to create your brilliant future is that? Sorry? How near to create your brilliant future is that? Well, you could do it kinesthetically and walk through it if you wanted yeah, to, but this which is, is fine. Uh, and, and maybe some people would appreciate it kinesthetically because they prefer to, to walk through it. Just their method of learning. Right. Um, and some people might just want to sit back, relax. Yeah. Sorry, I, I don't get it, I'm sorry. I've got my goal, I'm focusing on my goal, and then watching the TV screen. Well, the reason why I mentioned the TV screen was, once again, just as a disassociation, because if you told your client to disassociate from it, then, then they might not be too too sure what you mean. Then so, you yeah, I, I would mention maybe seeing it still, so it's still got a visual. And is the line, then you imagine a line in front of you? Just the normal one that we were looking at before. That represents time. Yeah. And you'll see your goal on one end of the line and you see you pass on the other. Is that right? Well, well your goal is pretty much there. You, you're seeing you, 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 Okay, <laughs> that's okay. You see your you're you're seeing your goal. At the end of the line. Yeah. Why don't you do it on this one? Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. Mm. But I I'll work with you on that's probably the easiest way. Okay. But, but you're seeing it just slightly beyond. Right. actually achieving it so you've got a, a fresh recollection of, of, of what it was like to, to have that but on the other hand you're also able then to start formulating a plan as well but if we, we give it a go yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah what you're doing essentially is going just beyond the point in time when you achieved it and looking back at the steps yeah. that you actually achieved